All right, and Chief Meteorologist Joe Varis is here and still dry, hanging tough here in the Twin Tiers. Sun still shining, at least for now, outside our studios in Horseheads. Sun was shining in Wellsboro, but you say that can actually factor into these thunderstorms. That's helping aid in the instability in our atmosphere right now, and we are watching a line of stronger showers and thunderstorms push through northwestern Pennsylvania, and as they march off towards the east, they're going to feed on some of this instability, and we can't rule out a few stronger storms over the northern tier over the next couple of hours. Okay. All right, outside right now though all is clear in our uh, Crystal City Sky Cam looking at sunshine at this hour some clouds off to the west but uh, still enjoying temperatures in the 80s at this hour it is on the humid side though and we're going to keep uh, the humidity up as we go through the overnight period and weather headlines look like this we are calling for well the chances for some scattered showers and thunderstorms overnight tonight with warm and humid conditions persisting, some of those thunderstorms continuing into Wednesday as well. Looks like a slight cool down for the end of the week with highs as we approach the weekend into the upper 70s. Weather maps tonight showing, well, we do have a, a stationary front just off to the west. Area of low pressure will eventually be riding eastward along that front and give us increasing chances for showers and thunderstorms, especially Thursday, Thursday night and into early Friday. Until then, though, just scattered showers and thunderstorms. We're dry at this hour, but again, as we look off towards the west, some stronger showers and thunderstorms now. Northwestern, north central Pennsylvania, you can see the oranges and the yellow showing up on the map here. And we do have warnings issued by the National Weather Service. Some of these warnings as far east as McKean County. Severe thunderstorm warning here until 7 o'clock this evening. And the warnings stretch south and westward towards Pittsburgh. So again, these storms marching off towards the east at about 40 miles an hour. We'll have to keep an eye on the radar. We'll pass along any warnings that may need to be issued for parts of the northern tier as we go through the evening hours. 78 in Bradford, 82 in Rochester, and 82 at this hour up in Syracuse. Local temperatures low and mid 80s at this hour, 84 Elmira and in Tawanda, Spencer at 82, and Penyon also coming in at 82 degrees. So our 24 hour planner showing the threat for some showers and thunderstorms this evening, and then just scattered clouds through the overnight period with some patchy fog possible. More showers and thunderstorms could pop up on our Wednesday. It'll stay humid out there, and we'll give you a five degree guarantee of 84. Future tracks showing the threat for a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow. Not going to be a washout, kind of like today when we'll get some periods of sunshine in there, but the threat for a shower or thunderstorm will be there. A little break in the action tomorrow night, and then our best chance for showers and thunderstorms on Thursday as an area of low pressure pushes east out of the Ohio Valley. Could be a steady rain for a time Thursday, Thursday night, and into early Friday. Five degree guarantee for today forecast high 90. We hit 87 forecast for the northern tier tonight. Slight chance for some stronger thunderstorms this evening and then just scattered clouds overnight. Temperature settling down into the mid 60s. It will stay humid. Areas of fog possible over the southern tier with a slight chance for an evening shower thunderstorm. Temperatures low and mid 60s and also looking at some 60s over the southern Finger Lakes region tonight. Can't rule out a shower or thunderstorm there as well. Seven day forecast is showing temperatures in the 80s tomorrow and Thursday. And then slightly cooler conditions as we approach the weekend. Scattered showers and thunderstorms remain in the forecast, but again, it looks like the steadiest rains Thursday and Friday.